What have you seen inside someone's home that made you view them differently? Experience 1. Pills all over the floor. Every room I went to had random pills on the ground. I picked them up and put them in a Ziploc when I was watching their cats. I let them know and they didn't seem to care. Watched their cats again months later and again found pills all over the place. So bizarre. Experience 2. I better appreciate that a friend of mine was badly depressed when I saw how messy his home was. I wanted to let him know if he needed anything I'd do my best to help, but I don't want to just say. Hey sad ass, lemma help. Experience 3. Went over to have a post-work smoke sesh. Dude's wife was strung out, the toddler just hanging out and the infant was in a playpen both unsupervised, dog-free roaming, cigarette butts put out everywhere, and just piles of dog poop all over the house. I dipped immediately instead of smoking told him exactly why because his house was disgusting and I didn't feel comfortable getting stoned in front of children. Then I reported him to CPS and called my boss to let him know that if a co-worker didn't show up it was because I called CPS on him. My boss was pretty chill about it. Homeboy lost his job because of the charges he picked up they found meth, coke, and weed, popped him for destro, possession, illegal firearm possession, child endangerment, child neglect, and abuse of a minor. Apparently the kids were severely malnourished and misuse of welfare, WIC benefits. Experience 4 One family I went to visit had a room in their house that was set up for a college kid. Posters, a TV, some weights, a computer desk, and even a half-empty cologne bottle on the desk. I asked them what college their son went to and they immediately changed the subject and the mom looked down and away. They said the room was rented out. I later found out their son could not get into the college he wanted and decided to commit to self-deletion. They left his room exactly as it last was. Experience 5 a girl I hung out with in college had me over to study together. We didn't have dorms, we lived close enough to just walk to college, so it was at her house. I saw this little colorful urn on her TV stand, and I said, Oh, that's a pretty pot. She got this really sad smile and replied, Thanks, that's my daughter. I felt so bad. Experience 6 On a somewhat related note, I was checking a customer in at my work. They were dropping off a laptop to have it repaired. I recognized the last name, and I said, are you any relation to Steve? I haven't heard from him in a couple of years. How is he doing? She suddenly changed her demeanor entirely, got silent, and said, He was my son. He killed himself two years ago. I felt horrible that I had dredged that up for her, and I felt even worse that I had no idea the guy even died. What really screwed me up though was that I learned I was one of the last people he ever called before he did it. We weren't exactly friends, I didn't see him all that often. But he was a wonderful client, and very fun to be around. Guy was a school teacher, students loved him. Big burly biker looking guy. He always told me he wanted to grab a beer with me sometime. If the TOD in the obituary is anything to go off of, the evening he killed himself, he called the store I work at and said he was interested in buying a computer. I told him I'd be more than happy to come down that very upcoming weekend as he often had difficulty getting time to come down during normal business hours and told him we could go grab lunch. We had a fun little chat for about 20 minutes with a rain check on getting lunch. I didn't hear from him ever again. Experience 7 Trick or treating as a kid we were always scared to go to one neighbor's house. The yard, nor home, was well kept. Stories circulated in the neighborhood for years that he was a mean man, had killed his family, etc. As a dare, I ran up and rang the doorbell and as I tried to run away an older gentleman opened the door, he said. I don't get many kids nowadays. Happy Halloween, and held out a bowl of yummy candy bars. I peeked in and it was a meticulously kept home on the inside. A little candle lit, neatly folded blankets and magazines next to his lazy boy chair. He was so kind. I believe his kids were grown and had moved away, his wife had passed away years ago. 
made me not believe the rumors that get started about people. Experience 8. I'm a CSI. I went to a residential burglary when I used to work at an agency in North Carolina. The homeowners were in their 70s. Their house was your typical grandparents' place with lace doilies everywhere, flowers, and photos all over the walls of the entire extended family. A table near his chair with hunting and fishing magazines. A table near her chair with knitting needles and yarn. The whole nine yards you'd expect to see at grandma and grandpa's house. As the lady was showing me around with the officer to tell me what was stolen or moved, I came to a slightly ajar door next to the master bedroom suite. I asked her if anything had been moved in there. She said she wasn't sure since she had called the police the moment they had gotten home from church and realized their house had been broken into. I elbowed open the door. Full-on intercourse dungeon room. We're talking intercourse swings, hooks on the ceilings with ropes, restraints on boards nailed to the wall, cuffs, paddles, floggers, strap and harnesses on hooks, ball gags of various sizes, a video camera on a tripod, you name it. She looked around, put her hand on her chest, and with what seemed a sigh of relief said no. Thank you, Lord. It looks like nothing was touched in here. I will never look at an old woman in a Peter Pan collar and flower pattern dressed the same now. Experience 9 Their Labrador was in a crate so small it could only turn around with great difficulty. The crate was anchored to the wall because otherwise, the dog would thrash around in the crate until it shook and moved across the floor. I asked if the dog had done something wrong to be put in timeout in the crate, like chewing up some shoes. My ex-friend said no, that's just where the dog lived for the most part. It got out every so often to eat or toilet in the yard, but all other times of day and night it was created. They reasoned that when they let it out of the crate, it was too hyper and destructive. Probably because it spent its whole life stuck in a tiny freaking box. I argued with my friend and left the house on bad terms. I phoned an animal rights hotline but was told there wasn't anything they could do. Since the dog was technically provided food, shelter, and decently hygienic conditions, it wasn't illegal to crate them near constantly, even though the org agreed it was neglectful slash abusive. Experience 10. I was once a bartender in an affluent area. I would occasionally get invited to after parties with the regulars. More than once I saw a large home barely furnished as in multiple rooms were completely empty and they just lived in maybe two rooms of the house. It appears that these people would buy and even rent the homes to put on the look. Experience 11. Child Explicit Videos Way back in the before times, I worked as an installation and repair tech for a major telecom. Installing DSL was one of the things I did, and while testing the connection to one guy's PC, I stumbled across some very disturbing images. His line was working fine, so I just smiled, told him there was no charge, and left. Called the police first, and then my boss to let him know I might be busy starting the rest of the day. The dude got severely busted. Experience 12. Super popular, rich kid in high school. Drove a BMW, had a huge house, and both of his parents were doctors. Went to a party at his house one night and was absolutely horrified by the filth they lived in. There was dog poop and piss absolutely everywhere in the house and little chihuahuas running around. Then there were even more dogs stacked on top of each other in crates in the garage. I was so stunned and disgusted I couldn't even have fun and was just horrified for the animals and him because he obviously thought this was all normal. And because he was cool people weren't saying anything. All I could think was holy crap if this is what his house looks like when he knows people are coming over, what the hell does it normally look like? I still feel terrible for those dogs and wish I had told an adult who could have helped them. Experience 13 If I had not known my neighbor when I was growing up was a WW2 vet and the coat was a war trophy it would have been the SS officer jacket he had in his closet. Fresh and never worn he pulled it off a wagon somewhere in France. Without the context, it would have been a massive red flag. Instead, he and his wife were a sweet couple who were always happy to tell my brother and me stories from the war. 
He served in Europe. She served in the Pentagon writing letters to fallen soldiers' families. I miss them still 20 plus years after they passed on. Experience 14 Was dating a girl for a couple of weeks and went to hang out with a couple she was close friends with. We are at their house, hanging out, and having a pretty good time. They seemed pretty cool. The guy started talking about the iguanas they have and asked if I wanted to see them. They had a separate room for them. We go in there and see the big cages with lizards. They were very impressive. And the big freaking Ku Klux Klan posters on the wall next to them. I made an excuse to leave their home soon after. My girlfriend asked what was wrong and I explained what I saw. She knew and didn't think it was any big deal. It ended that relationship as well. Experience 15 I go into multiple homes every week. For the most part, people are clean and what I'd call normal. Then we have the people whose animals don't get let outside often enough or the litter boxes aren't cleaned often enough. Or the children have the run of the home and no one cleans for them. That's all normal to some people. We also have a large group of people who collect odd things or old things. They can't let go of the past or of great grandma's tarnished brass. That's also normal for some. The worst, to me, are the hoarders. With just a pathway leading to a tight space for one, they expect me to adapt to their living conditions while finding a place to sign multiple documents. Some claim to be remodeling. Others claim to be moving in or out. Their claims are untrue. But what gets me about these hoarders is that if they aren't sick and in bed on the final days, they are business professionals who walk right next to others, looking tidy and clean. They are doctors and nurses, they are attorneys and accountants, and some even own multiple properties across the country. I've learned that we really don't know a person until we've seen their home. Experience 16 Neighbor has at least a dozen extremely high-quality hand-painted portraits of President Obama as an African king, a high-rolling gangster, Jesus, walking hand-in-hand -hand with MLK, playing basketball on the streets, smoking weed by a burning trash can, and other crazy ones. It's been a few years since I saw them, but wow, the dude worships Obama and I had no idea. He never speaks a word of politics. He invited me over for dinner and told me all about the artist and how proud he was to have custom pieces by him. He never mentioned anything political, he just spoke about Obama like he was a sports or religious icon. Experience 17 Went to my supposedly straight brother's house when he wasn't there. He knew I was coming over, but he was running late and told me to go on in. I turned on the TV and grabbed his PS4 controller and decided to screw up whatever game he was playing. Well, it turned out to be gay explicit videos. I guess I never really viewed him differently because he's my brother and I love him. I just have been keeping this secret and wanted to get it off my chest. We hope you enjoyed listening to today's stories. If you want to see more stories, check out these videos or check the links in the description for more videos. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And ring that notification bell.